If you see something, say something. That's the message one woman is sending tonight after she saw what she believes was the 18-wheeler carrying dozens of migrants. News 4 San Antonio's Jordan Elder continuing our team coverage with how businesses in the area are reacting and what they saw before the tragedy. Good evening, Jordan. Simone, the truck is no longer here, but in its place, a memorial is growing, and along with the typical candles and flowers, people are also leaving water, something that authorities say there was none of inside the truck that day. We spent today talking to local businesses that are in this area, and they say they're shocked at what happened here. It was about 3 o'clock Monday when MG sales manager Veronica Aguilar noticed something odd. And there's always accidents and stuff going on in this corner. But that truck caught my attention because it was driving so fast and it had a trailer attached to it. Hours later, the truck was discovered on this road behind the business. Dozens of migrants dead inside and several others injured. And then I thought to myself, maybe if I would have called it in um, just for reckless driving or something, they would have found them. Armando Salinas had just finished work for the day when the truck appeared. He says it's a tragedy he never expected, just steps from his shop. Two of the migrants identified so far were from Honduras. We spoke with a man who also migrated from there and came to the scene to pay his respects. He asked us to call him Alexis. In my case, if I were to decide this again, I wouldn't do it. I brought my family over here, and that's what hurts me the most. It could have been my family in that truck. He says the migrants likely came here to work, taking a risk they never thought would end like this. In the beginning, it was worth it. But nowadays, the United States is not what I thought it was meant for me. It's a corporation. It's a work machine. Some of the business owners also told us that they would like to see more work visas granted so people didn't have to go through methods like this to work here across the border. Reporting live, I'm Jordan Elder, News 4 San Antonio. All right.